But first, there was another media meltdown over Donald Trump this week, calling him a threat to democracy or something when he shared vision of a pickup truck that had a picture of a hogtied Joe Biden in the back. Have a look at this. Former President Donald Trump igniting a wave of new criticism after sharing a new post to his followers on Truth Social. The video shows an image of President Joe Biden hogtied on the back of a pickup truck. And now both presidential campaigns are sounding off about the controversy. Oh, the humanity! Now, this naturally set off the usual hysteria in the media, and MSNBC was so upset by the vision that they decided it was too shocking for you to see, dear viewer. In our editorial discussions this morning, we were asked not to show the image from this video because of its violent and disturbing nature. Video, which we are intentionally choosing not to show you. We're not going to show because of how disturbing it is. I was extremely disturbed to see this. Good Lord, but if that's disturbing and a call to political violence, that picture on the truck, well, the question for MSNBC is, where have you been all those times the calls have been coming from inside the House? How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. You would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take you behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face! When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. Look as his character is stabbed to death. But of course, you see, that's not political violence they're calling for. No, that's just strengthening democracy. Hypocrites.